Hey Puzzlers, Steve here with another video on how to play some Sudoku variants. This one's called the Sujikin, and I've pulled this from the recent book that I've published on Amazon. If you haven't checked that one out already, please do. I think you guys might like it just in time for Christmas. I'll post the link in the description below, along with a puzzle um, app that you can use uh, from Eric Fox. I found it to be a great uh, software, lots of fun. So anyways, the rules say that 1 through 9 must be in each row, column, and region without repeating, and as well as diagonals. So that's the new constraint, is that digits can't repeat along the diagonals. Now what you'll notice is this is a half of a Sudoku. We've cut out some of the squares. So in some rows, like this one, you're not going to have all the digits 1 through 9, but just some. Same thing with some, like this column here. So that's what's unique about this puzzle. Uh, I did enjoy it. I found uh, some of them to be hard. This one's of medium difficulty, but without further ado, let's get started on solving this one. So typically where I start is I like to look at the three legs, since those are gonna contain all the digits one through nine. And then I also look at the three three by three boxes, because those are gonna be the most constrained these smaller uh, rows and columns are going to be a little bit more difficult because there's going to be unknown uh, which digits go where. Um, I, I think they're just going to be a little bit tougher. So anyways, without further ado, one is already on this diagonal. Uh, there is no two. Two can go on any of those, so that's not very helpful. There's already a three. Four can't go here. Uh, and four can't go there. So it's not very helpful. Five can't go on any of those. So we can pencil mark, and one of those two can be a five. Six is already on the diagonal. Seven. This seven means those three can't be uh, a seven. And this seven blocks that one. So that leaves just this cell here to be a seven, and that forces this one to be a five then. Eight's already on the diagonal. Nine. These nines block those two. So that there must be a nine. And these two must be then a two and a four. Uh, and this four means that's a two and that's a four. So that's a good start. I noticed regular Sudoku rules puts a six in one of these two, but there's a six already there. So that blocks that one. We could write a six in there. This six blocks those. This six blocks that one. Uh, and so we're going to have a six in one of these two. Now this six blocks that cell because that's diagonal and this one blocks that one from being a six because that's the diagonal so we can actually write in all the sixes uh, so that's great now normal sudoku uh, would put sixes somewhere up here but we're not going to worry about those cells uh, we don't have to so that's nice um, here we have a quadruple I think we can just write in, we're missing a 1, 2, 3, and an 8. Well, we know that 8 can't go in that box, so we can take that away. This can't be a 1 because of that one. Uh, 2 or 3. Uh, I don't think we can figure that out yet. So this can't be a 3. And this can't be a 1 because of that one. And in fact, I noticed there's a 1 here. So that's a diagonal, so that can't be a one. And eights, yeah, I think that's it for the eights. Well, it looks like uh, one of these two is gonna be an eight uh, for sure. Well, we know that, I don't think I need that corner mark. Um, let's look at fours. So these two fours push, pushes a four up there and not super helpful a five is going to be pushed up here this five blocks that one and this five is diagonal from that one so that means this is a five putting a five in one of these two oh, i'm sorry one of these three i don't think we can cancel any of those out a seven we can push a seven up here this seven blocks that one so that must be a seven so this seven blocks those, this seven blocks that one, this seven blocks down here, so with that one. And so a seven belongs in one of those two, but this is diagonal from that cell, so that's a seven there. 
Um, eight. Well, we've already established eight goes down there. Nine. We've already got the nines there. Actually, you know what? These two nines blocks all of those, so that would be a nine there. Uh, let's look at this diagonal. Now, usually this would be a double, but we're missing one digit because there's only eight digits along this uh, one. So we'll, it's actually a triple, even though there's only two cells. So we're missing a two, three, and an eight. So those could be two, three, or eight. We already have a three or eight in that box, so that must be a two, meaning that can no longer be a two because that's diagonal. So this is a three or eight, and I don't think we can figure out uh, which one that is quite yet. So you can see that's uh, what's unique about this puzzle is uh, usually you'd look at that and say that's a single, but um, it could be either of those. So this is a triple, right? Uh, a one, two, three is what we're missing. Obviously it can't be one because of the one right above it. So that creates a two, three pair. So that's the one there. This one um, blocks those two. Well, actually, you know what? This blocks that one. This blocks that one. So this is a one there. This one and that one blocks those. This blocks that one. And so we have a one in one of those two. Um, this is a quadruple, we can write those in. We're missing a two, three, five, and eight. This can't be a two because the two is diagonal from it. This can't be an eight because the eight's diagonal from it, and that can't be an eight because of that same eight. So these two, we can take the eights away. This eight doesn't hit any of those. Um, Five. This five doesn't hit. No. I'm looking at the diagonals. This five. That blocks that one. So that can't be a five anymore. So that's a three or eight. Um, two. Wow, I thought I could get a little bit more out of that, but I guess not. So this is a triple. Looks like a double, but again, we're missing one cell over here. So this is going to be either a uh, one, three, or a five. This can't be a one because of that one and that one. Those blo both block those. Um, three or five. Hmm. This can't be a three because of that one. So this is uh, going to be a quadruple up here, right? We're missing the one up here. So that's going to be one, five, two, eight. Oh, what happened? No, one. Yeah, this two. Yeah, I missed this earlier. So that two means this is an eight. That's an eight. Meaning that's no longer an eight. Uh, so that's helpful. So this is actually now one, five, four. One, five, four. Or one, four, five. Right, those three cells. Uh, one, four, five can't be a five so that is not a five because of that um, hmm I'm stumped here for a little bit what am I missing this cell seems constrained so it's seeing a one could be a two could be a three I guess it's not as constrained as I thought. Could be, it can't be a four, it can't be a five, it can't be a six, it can't be a seven, it can't be an eight, it can't be a nine. So it's a two, th two or three. Well, that's uh, unfortunate. Oh, so it's a two, three pair on the diagonal, but there's nothing else on the diagonal for me to use that. So I'm missing a lot of twos and threes. Um, Hmm. Where does the so five is going to go in one of those? Uh, 
Do I have? I feel like I've. This is the only cell I have not pencil marked yet. So this can't be a one because of that one. Could be a two. Um, could be a three. Could be a four. Not a five. Not a six. Not a seven. Not an eight or nine. So two, three, four. Hmm. This row here. Where does the uh, so five's got to be in one of these two, right? Five can't be here. Five can't be there. Five can't be there. So one of these two is going to be a five, meaning that can't be a five. Now this is a two, three pair. That's helpful because I can get rid of the two and three there. Five and eight. Um, what am I missing? All right, so ah, this can't be a three. How do I know that? Because if that's a three, that would force this to be a two and that to be a two, right? This three sees both of those cells. So that can't be a three. So that's probably uh, a trick there, seeing that that sees both of those. So that, again, has to be an eight. Is that any help? No, not really. I guess that was not the trick there. Man, um, let's see. Hmm. If this is a two, that would force this to be a three, this to be a three, this to be a two, and that to be a two. Yeah, okay, so this can't be, and I think it can't be a three either for the same reason. So this has to be a five. So I'm going to say that back again because that's a little tricky. So this here can't be a 2 because that would force this to be a 3, this to be a 3, that to be a 2, and then that to be a 3. And then those would, those would be two threes. That can't be a 3 for the same reason because then that would be a 2, that would be a 2, and then these would be 3s. These would repeat. So this has to be the 5. That's a five, that's an eight, making that the three, that the two, that the three, that the two, that the three. This three makes that a two. Wow, well, I could have figured that out with that one. This is now the four, must be the four, making that the one, that the five, and that the three, and there you go. That is how you do a sujikim. Lots of fun, uh, a little bit trickier than I first thought it would be when I tried them out, but uh, this was the medium one. Uh, there is a tougher one in the book, and there's also an easier one in the book. Again, give it a try. I think you guys would like it. Um, leave a, a comment, if you will. Uh, review the book, if you will, and uh, subscribe for more videos like this in the future. Thanks, everyone. Have a good night.